I have always found such passion in Jewish music. My grandfather was a chazan, my father is a rabbi. I, uh, I always like to joke that I knew prenatally that I would be a chazan. This shul had previously been non-egalitarian, where women received no religious honors. When I was younger, obviously it was not egalitarian. I was used to women not really playing much of a role in services. So when I first came, there was a lot of shock and surprise. People were surprised that they even hired a female cantor. There were several people that I knew from my generation, male, who were very uncomfortable having a female hazan. Wednesday morning minions started almost two years ago. Rabbi Krupnik um, challenged us at Sisterhood Shabbat to get women more involved in coming and helping make the minion on, during the week. So we wanted to positively enable women to feel comfortable in this setting, in this environment. My father goes to Minion every morning, and I never knew that women could go to morning Minion. I always thought it was a male thing. Um, I've actually been teaching Hebrew school on and off since 1972. What's incredible about the cantor is she leads by example. Besides teaching and telling, she shows. And I get to see her with her talit, which means I can wear a talit. But what was more amazing is the tefillin. It was pretty exciting. I mean, it's still new. It's still about six months, seven months. I'm trying to think of when I first put it on. And it's exciting to be able to be wrapped in your Judaism. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of women that come and wear a talit here. I never wear one, but there's just something about putting that on, being with the other women, being with the other congregants in um, Morning Minion, there's just something special about coming. I think that's exactly why people come on Wednesday morning. There's the service, there's the study session. So the Shema is a command, right? Hear, O Israel, listen. It's a command, listen. You know, you know that I spend most of my day listening to people, Torah readers, Bar Bat Mitzvah students, counseling, couples getting married who come to me with me. So what are we listening for? And how much of our day are we spent actively listening? Uh, and our shul of Chazan is a lot more than just sim simply someone who leads services on Shabbos. Um, she really is a spiritual leader. Um, I think you find signs and answers when you're in the service that there's aha moments if you allow that, but you have to listen in order to have those times. Beautiful. Wednesday is never a bad day ever. I always, I get so much from coming here. I enjoy learning, I enjoy the, the, the service, and, and before this I had never been to a minion, a morning minion ever. Because during the week that you may have one or two other ladies coming because they have to say cottage or something. No, I know. But on Wednesday they come just because they want to be here. Yeah. What, what is my role in all of this? You know, to make it be a positive, nurturing, wonderful, lasting, memorable experience for them, that's really what it's all about. And every time that somebody walks in the synagogue, it should be, they should leave feeling better than when they came. I don't think anybody ever anticipated what uh, the Chazan could really be and how this position could blossom into something that really influenced everybody at various stages of their spiritual growth. In my limited experience, other um, Fazanim just sang. They sometimes they didn't really interact with members of the congregation, uh, or maybe just with the children. But she is truly part of all of us. 